Welcome to Bible Reader Companion. Our Bible reading this week is 1 Peter chapters 1 through 5, 2 Peter chapters 1 through 3, and John chapters 1 and 2. Our memory verse this week is 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 9, in which Peter says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. We've looked this week at this immediate context and trying to understand the message that Peter had in writing these things. Let's look a little bit closer at verses 9 through 12 and keep in mind the things that we've already discussed, and that is that God has said that time means nothing to him, that the flood is our example of the judgment that God can bring, and that the judgment that's coming is far more final and far more severe than the judgment that was conducted in the flood. Beginning again in verse 9 and going through verse 12, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. Therefore, since all these things will be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness? Looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved, being on fire, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. What is our responsibility to react to the things in which Peter wrote? You know, Peter and the Holy Spirit didn't write these things down just to fill words on a page. You know, I wonder sometimes why people post things on social media. I think it's just to, to fill space, to fill time. Well, the Holy Spirit didn't do that. The Holy Spirit didn't record things just for the purpose of filling up space. He wrote them with a purpose. And the purpose here is to drive men to repentance, holy conduct, and godliness. God is not slack concerning his promise because he wants men to repent. He's trying to give men time to do the right thing. We talked yesterday about the fact that God would have spared Sodom and Gomorrah for 10 righteous people. And yet there weren't even 10 that were willing to heed the warnings of Lot. Lot only got out with himself, his wife, and his two daughters. And his wife was lost as he was leaving the city. And his daughters had already succumbed to the unrighteousness of Sodom and Gomorrah. We don't want to be those people. You know, we live sometimes, especially when we're young, as though we're guaranteed tomorrow. We live our lives thinking, well, I'll make things right someday. And yet what Peter says is that's not how we need to live. We need to repent now. And we need to live every day in holy conduct and godliness with the understanding that God can bring judgment upon this world at any time. Are you ready for that judgment? Are you ready for him to come in judgment? If not, we need to get ready. We need to change our hearts. We need to change our lives. We need to not have the mentality that the day is coming and we're going to know when that day is and that we're going to be able to then prepare for his coming. Life is short. Some people get caught short even before they expect it. How many times do we get a phone call? Do we hear announced in the, in the assembling of the saints? Do we read in the newspapers of some young life? Some life cut short unexpectedly. If you don't, just go look. Search the internet. It won't take long to find people who died not thinking, not expecting that they didn't have tomorrow. Let us be ready. Let us repent. Let us live in holy conduct and godliness because we understand that the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Thank you for thinking on these things, and we hope you'll join us again tomorrow. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.